hello we're back for part two it is june 4th 2023 um and this is the second message of the day today so we left off so i'm going to go to the second part okay you tell my anointed ones they aren't oh first let me say jesus christ is the son of god he's god he came to earth in the flesh he bled on the cross he died for our sins and he rose on the third day and he was born of a virgin. And ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people because they're trying to scam you. Okay. Um, you tell my anointed ones they aren't hearing from me, but have you asked me? I do not answer to prideful sinners who rely on their own works to save them. So you need to humble yourselves, get rid of your pride and seek me with all of your heart and I will answer you. I told you to love your neighbor. You spend more minutes in the day trying to tear down the body of Christ instead of loving and lifting each other up. We are in perilous, wicked times. This is the time to lean on one another and learn from one another while walking in the spirit and asking for my discernment. Many of my people are speaking my words, but there are many I have not ordained to speak. You will know who is truly from me when you hear my words and you know my voice. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. They hear me calling them home. I have been sounding the alarm to save you. I have given my people dreams, visions, and prophecy to wake you up. I told you in the end times I would pour my spirit out on my people. I'm showing you my ways are higher than man's ways. So why are you seeking man for answers? Why haven't you come to me with a sincere heart and ask me for answers? My children, I hear your prayers and I love you so much. But my time is perfect and pleasing. Yes, the spirit is first. I have given you the key to my kingdom. It's up to you if you will use it. Do not be the foolish virgin banging on my door when the door shuts. Children, the door will shut and it's so soon. You have no idea what is manifesting in the spirit right now. I am bringing a supernatural peace and shielding you from fiery arrows thrown at you from the devil. Children, there are witches and warlocks, Satan's minions trying to attack you. They want you to stray from your character. They are rousing you up to anger to derail you from your current assignment I have ordained over your life. Time truly is almost up and the devil knows it. You are going to see lots of attacks coming your way, but if you stay in my spirit and do not retaliate evil for evil, you will feel my peace. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. There are lots of events coming that are already taking place in the spirit. You are going to fill, fill, fill that pool to heaven even stronger now. Some of you will even smell and taste the food from the wedding feast. Remember, your father knows what you need before you even ask him. Do you know who I am? If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. I am your true salvation. When you are seeking me, you are seeking God. Children, you are still twisting what repentance actually means. Go back to the root word and ask yourselves, what did I die for? Why are you relying on yourself to save you? I told you you will follow my commands because you love me. Salvation is my free gift to you. By the way, my last video I said, um, is salvation not a free gift? You know, it was a question for the people to, to stop using works. And um, I said it so fast because I have um, Invisalign and I still have these little things in my mouth. And um, it makes my speech slur sometimes. So I didn't say it clearly enough. So it sounded like I said salvation is not a free gift, but that's not what I said. It's actually written in the title that I put in the video. So just to clarify that. Salvation is my free gift to you. When you have my spirit, you will feel conviction to deny the flesh and walk in the spirit. 
but you must believe and ask me to save you. It has to come from the heart. I know every word you speak before you speak it, so you cannot fool me with your idle words. I am listening to every word. And when my children and chosen ones pray, I hear every word. <coughs> Excuse me. I know you are longing for me to catch you up. Please don't lose faith. I am catching you up soon. I already have the net in the water. And when the last fish is caught in my net, it will get caught up. You will get caught up. I am showing you encouragement through my light shows. <coughs> I am bringing you encouragement through my anointed ones. I am turning the dial way up and you will see my glory in the sky. When you see my light show, film it. Pray to me and ask me to show you a heavenly sign. I will show you in my light show. He will, guys. He did it for me. He'll do it for you, too. He has no favorites. When you ask me sincerely and you keep knocking, I will give it to you. You can ask anything in my name and I will give it to you. You may wonder why my words say that. Evil men who I don't listen to ask for evil things. But my children with my spirit ask me, and it lines up according to my will. I only want my will for you, so I will give it to you. Have you asked me to reveal the plans I have for you yet? How many minutes a day do you spend time with me throughout the day? Reading my word, thinking of me, worshiping me, and praying to me. Am I an afterthought or do you put me first? Do you think of me only in church when you are surrounded by other believers so you can feel that sense of importance? <clears throat> I'm not condemning you. I'm trying to teach you and I'm trying to show you how you can examine your fruits. Do you have any idea how much I love you all? My heart breaks every day when I see the mocking and scoffing and the hate that is spewed out of your mouths. Oh, how Satan is loving every minute of this debauchery. You enjoy seeking whom you may devour and preying on the innocent. He has you under a deep deception. And if you don't break from it, you will believe the delusion I have coming on this whole world. <coughs> so in my head, I thought I heard debauchery. But when I'm looking at it, it's spelled like debauchery. But I think it is debauchery. I don't know. I didn't know what it was. I had to look up that word. Um, yeah, anyway. Um, but it's not. So I said, my elect won't be deceived. I say if it were possible. But it's not possible because they are walking by the fruit of the Spirit and they know my voice. Do you know my voice? Are you one of my sheep? You have to have faith to be my sheep. You have to have love to be my sheep. Is there love in your hearts? I feel like I am a broken record trying to teach you the same things, but you do not hear my words and you do not see my witness, so you do not receive it. My words, my true words, are lost on you. Okay, and I'll stop right there, and then I'll go to part three. Um, uh, believe in Jesus, you know, with all of your hearts. Confess he's Lord. It is your faith and his grace that saves you. Okay, see you for part three. God bless.